So this is a re-upload um, to the Kim, the previous Kim Burrell um, video that I posted earlier. Um, I know my voice didn't sound very clear because I'm just trying to get over strep throat. Not to mention that I speak with a lisp, so it's kind of hard, I guess, for some people to understand me or whatever. Um... There's so much to say about the Kim Burrell situation because <clears throat> a lot of what she said is very true. It is the word of God. It is the actual word. And the thing about it is what is being blown out of proportion is... <clears throat> Basically, her words being twisted to make it look worse than what it really is. Even though, um, when God speaks prophetically, we are to listen and we are to take heed. Um, everyone is basically saying that she said, all gays will die in 2017. And that's not what she said. She said, if you play with the homosexuality spirit in the church, you'll die in it. And me growing up in church years ago, I seen it. What she said is very true. Many people talk about Eddie Long, and I made a previous video about Eddie Long, you know, and I said what I had to say. But I did say that God is a judge. God knows everything that's going on. So if in fact he does have AIDS, the only person who would know that but God and Eddie unless and the doctors, unless they come out and say, you know, out, say it in public. But do understand there's nothing hidden that will not be seen. She has a duty as a prophet to speak what the Spirit of the Lord says. And... That's her duty. Everybody's attacking her. But in her apology video, she did say, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So she's speaking the true and living word of God. If you have discernment, you discern that that was the word that was put in her spirit to be spoken. You know, when we're called to speak, we are being used as vessels. We are vessels. And so, therefore, the homosexuality spirit, because it is a spirit, we these are fleshly bodies. In order for us to take on any type of adultery, fornication, murder, those, those are spirits. Cancer is a spirit. Cancer is a spirit of dis-ease in your body. So she's not lying. God even said, those that worship you, those that worship me shall worship me in spirit and in truth. So, yes, homosexuality is a spirit. It is a spirit. Perversion is a spirit. Fornication is a spirit. People take on those spirits. The enemy, that's how he uses people. It's spiritual warfare. So for anybody to say, you know, what they're saying about her, and I, you know what? What's going on now? And for everybody, you know, the LGBT community to be coming out and going in on her, that's to be expected. That is to be expected. If it's warfare, that's something that all of us in the body of Christ should know that this is what is to be expected. You think the, the enemy going to sit down and lay down when you coming against the kingdom of darkness? He ain't going to sit down and lay down. He fought too, He's fighting too hard for this world. The enemy wants this world. He wants all the souls, all the souls he can get. So he's going to bring up that defense to make it look like it's supposed to be right. Homosexuality is wrong. You cannot procreate with man and man and woman and woman. When God made Adam and Eve, he said, be fruitful and multiply. Okay? God is a life giver. There's no life that comes out of two men together and two women together. I am sorry. It goes against everything that God created, and it is wrong. 
And if you don't like it, you can't attack one minister or one prophet for saying it. You got to go to God about that. But it's easier for you to attack a person because that's who you see. You better understand what spiritual warfare is. If you have a spirit of homosexuality, right now the enemy is attacking you. So what you're going to have to do is fight back with the word of God and let him know who you are and whose you are. We are to love everybody. That's number one. We hate the sin. We hate the sin, but not the sinner. And I understand what you're saying about the delivery needed to be in love. But she had a duty. And she was obedient. And the enemy is attacking her for it. Think about when Jesus got mad with them in the temple. He turned over the tables. Did he not? Anger is an emotion. But the Bible says be angry but sin not. Okay? So, we have a choice. And that choice is to be obedient and try our best to live right in a world full of sin. Or continue on into what you win. And if the word of God came forth and you choose to dismiss it, whatever happens after that is, to, is, is on you. But the Bible also says, to whom much is given, much is required. Time is winding up. Things are so much more different than what they used to be. And in my 36 years of life, I've always heard, Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back. But now we are living out the signs of the times. They are being, being living out and, and, and in front of our face. And if you're not walking in discernment in this day and time, then that's on you. But the word of God is real. And, you know, Pastor Kim Morrell, you know, she got a true relationship with God. She'll know how to take on the enemy and the spiritual warfare. Well, warfare is going to be kicked up a notch. You know? But anyway, with that being said, you guys have a blessed day.